Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for taking the time to be part of this weather community. I'll try to get to those comments uh, throughout the day best I can, of course. All right, this here, this is Christy on the eastern Pacific side. We'll cover that. Uh, this here, the remnants, which are leftovers of Oscar, right here lifting up toward Bermuda and parts of Canada. And we have a couple areas of disturbed weather for us in the eastern Caribbean, plus in the central and western Caribbean by Jamaica. I do expect some signs of development as we work our way into the weekend and next week. Not that we're definitely going to see a hurricane, uh, but some uh, prospects that we are going to see some development. So let me start with that in what we're seeing. And I'm going to update you on this every day. It's kind of the next big area to watch. So I want to break it down in depth. Everything I'm seeing behind the scenes, I'll let you know. So it's this spot in here near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Jamaica, Honduras, Nicaragua, somewhere in here, even over toward Haiti. What's going to happen is a lot of rain is going to build. Now, what are the major computer models showing? Now, the computer models are computers and like different brands of computers. Uh, some are better than others. They have different variables. Uh, they take in uh, different uh, weather aspects, some a little bit stronger than others. So you get some differences out of them. But the American model does does have this area eventually becoming a hurricane. So it has my attention clearly. The Canadian model yesterday was showing this area becoming a tropical storm. It now shows it uh, not really as a storm. I'll show you that in a second, kind of the expanded view of the uh, Canadian, European model and the German icon model do not have this area becoming a storm. All of the models though have the rain really building in this area. And that's what really has my attention. Anytime we get a big area of rain over very warm water temperatures, which we still have in the Caribbean, clearly we could get some development. So makes sense, right? So that is the spot to watch next. Now, if something develops, or even if something doesn't, where, where does it go? Where does the rain go? Well, the early indications are that with these fronts up to the north this time of year, whatever develops, or even just if it's just plain old rain, will kind of swing up toward the northeast, at least initially. The there is a chance like what we saw with Nadine where if these fronts stay weak or well up to the north, uh, the area of rain could kind of drift off toward the west, but it's a little bit more likely that this rain that develops will eventually at least start to move a little more to the north and northeast. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see what tries to uh, develop as we get into next week. So here is uh, uh, Christie. Christie is moving away from land. We swing over here and if we do get development, the next name on the list is Patty. So just taking you out in time here and let me bring it into the end of the week. Now this here is by Friday and you can see by the time we get into Friday already some moisture starts to build. So as we go over the next couple of videos together it'll be interesting to see together how much rain starts to build. That's our first sign of development, right? This is on Friday. This is the American model. And this is some uh, one of the more aggressive models showing the eventual development. Then through the weekend, this is Sunday, a lot more rain. So that's why I mentioned we're, we're clearly watching this either way. And almost all of the models are showing this. And then after this point, some try to develop it some don't, but a lot of rain, so that is the higher certainty. We're going to watch out for a flood threat, parts of Central America, even near Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Now, I do believe this area will start to kind of build a little bit more to the north and northeast. So you see, for example, as we get into next week, this here is by Monday. Let's work our way into Tuesday and look at all that moisture. The green is the rain, the yellow is rain, but heavier, and you see it really building. And you see how it kind of builds its way a little bit back toward the northeast, even up toward the Bahamas parts of Haiti, uh, Jamaica, some heavier rain. Watching these fronts up here, which may act like a blocker initially, but the fronts up here uh, do pull some of that rain right up toward uh, the northeast. So we're going to be seeing that. So this here is Tuesday, and I have a high confidence that we're going to have a lot of rain. Okay, the development part, that's still, I need a day or two to kind of fine tune if we're going to see something develop into a tropical storm. And then if we go way out in time, this is a week from now. So again, this is going to change. We know that once we get past four or five days, the uncertainty is higher, but it does show something trying to spin up into a tropical storm or potentially a hurricane in the Caribbean. We'll see. Some of the model, European model doesn't show this. It just shows that rain kind of lifting up to the north. The American model shows this trying to spin up or even kind of develops an area that kind of swings back uh, toward the Bahamas or Southeast US way down the road. So this is well out in time. Just wanted to show you some of the scenarios. And I don't like to put, you know, uh, everything out there, but I don't like to hold anything back from you. So there is a chance this develops into a tropical storm or hurricane, but I'm, I'm just not sure yet. Nothing's even developed yet. But here's the Canadian model. And why am I using the Canadian? 
Canadian model. Well, it did a very good job finding Oscar. It was one of the only computer models to develop Oscar under a hurricane. There are the remnants of Oscar up toward Bermuda today. So just taking a look at the Canadian model. Now we'll go out in time. Here we are in Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, just to give you a few uh, spots on the map, uh, Puerto Rico right here. Now this is by the time we get into Sunday and it shows increased rain, right? Uh, near Jamaica and then back through Central America. That's what I was mentioning. All the models show the increase of rain, the buildup of rain. So that is the spot I'm going to focus on. And then you see even more rain and just kind of a surge of moisture. This here would be deeper into next week. So we're talking about the end of next week, a ton of rain on the map. So it's going to be just kind of a matter of will it develop, will it not, which it kind of really always is, right? Uh, but you can see here all of that rain. And once again, some of this tries to lift a little bit more to the northeast. So while the Canadian model here, at least as of now, is not showing development, it's showing high pressure to the north, initially keeping some of the rain down to the south. Uh, and we need to keep an eye on these fronts. The fronts are the big player on this. Will these fronts kind of grab it more eventually to the north? But all of the models are showing some of the rain, and then they kind of go back and forth on developing it, which is common to not know exactly what will develop about a week from now. That's pretty far out in time. But the high certainty, I like to tell you not just, I don't want to just throw scenarios out there. The high certainty is that we're going to see some rain, and as we work our way into the Caribbean, I'm going to be watching out for the flood threat. And then I'll let you know in well advanced time if something does try to develop into a tropical storm or hurricane. Now this here, these are the remnants of Oscar. When I joined you yesterday, they fell apart. They're no longer tropical in nature, but this surge of moisture moving right through Bermuda. Bermuda today painting in this uh, kind of a white or black shading, four to six inches of rain, 100 millimeters to 155 millimeters of rain as all of this moisture streams in today, tonight, into tomorrow. So some, uh, some substantial rain in Bermuda. And then we swing up toward uh, Newfoundland, back toward Nova Scotia, watching Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick. Most of it stays, of course, to the east of New Brunswick, but the front with the remnants of Oscar, fronts coming in from Quebec, uh, that is going to combine to give us at least 100 millimeters of rain, not for all of us, primarily along the coast, watching over toward uh, Newfoundland and that coastal flood threat and some of the winds, 50, maybe 60 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour plus. We're going to get some strong winds out of this. So here we come out of the Bahamas. This is what was in the Turks and Caicos, Bahamas and Eastern Cuba. There's the rain right now in Bermuda. Here's the front. That's the front that was steering it. That's why it made that weird turn as it was moving this way, kind of felt that front and now it is lifting up to the north. Now this is, everything's a little slower. So our friends in the Atlantic region of Canada, a little bit slower. Later in the day tomorrow, you see Nova Scotia and then especially back toward a Newfoundland as we work away into tomorrow night. That high chance of rain, the gusty winds, strong winds, tropical storm conditions clipping by. Avalon Peninsula in particular with the heavier rain and where we have some of the uh, uh, not as high terrain and where we have some of the beaches in there. We are going to see some coastal flooding, especially in through some of those uh, harbors. And then as we work our way into Saturday, things move away as our next front and colder weather sweeps in with another front moving in. But you see the winds, that white shading near Bermuda. So some of the gust around 50 miles miles per hour and 80 kilometers an hour, both scales on the map to keep everyone covered. Just kind of a broad windmaker, even some reds popping up in there, which could be gust about 70 miles per hour. But by this is by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, more of that onshore flow in a Newfoundland. And as you work our way toward Nova Scotia, it's more of that offshore flow right there, just with the uh, circulation of this storm system. And then all of that works in. Strongest winds late tomorrow, tomorrow night, even into Friday, right across the Newfoundland. And then we start to get the offshore flow as this eventually starts to pull away later on Friday. But we have some strong winds. So giving you the heads up on that. Now we swing back here. I've been watching a few showers and storms near Anguilla, uh, St. Martin. We've been watching some of that rain uh, close to the coast of uh, Suriname this uh, morning. Uh, so we are unsettled. We're gonna still see those scattered areas of rain and storms. If we don't get rain though, on the flip side this time of year, it's still very, very hot. And I know a lot of us are trying to uh, fill up some of those cisterns before we uh, dive into the uh, dry season, but at least we have that flow out of the east. No name system, but a chance of some scattered showers, uh, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, Dominica. And you see the spotty showers. This here is our Thursday. A uh, couple of uh, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Not as high of a rain chance as we had a few days ago, of course, with a landfalling uh, tropical system in Central America. But this here, by Friday, We'll see how much rain starts to build here, and then we're just going to keep an eye on this area to see how much moisture builds, where it's going to go, 
where the biggest flood threat will be, and then I'll give you a good heads up well in advance if this area does try to develop into a tropical storm or a hurricane. So we had Nadine, Oscar, Patty is the next name on the list. Uh, of all the names, by the way, Francine, that, that of course moved into the Louisiana area. Um, Gordon was the one that was the first one to stay out to sea. All of these hit land. The first, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe all hit land. Ernesto in the Caribbean, uh, Debbie, uh, Chris, uh, Bar Alberto in uh, Chris impacting parts of Mexico. Of course, Barrel, just such a, a massive system. So the next name is Patty on the list. If that area in the Caribbean does develop and that becomes the next name, uh, that will be Patty. This here, here's Mexico. This is uh, what was left of Nadine, some of the uh, remnants of Nadine combined with a new area of low pressure that formed. So this is Christy, a very strong hurricane. Hurricane by nature are strong though winds of 100 miles per hour it'll get even stronger but then it will eventually weaken over the pacific a few days from now i'll keep an eye on that but at least it's moving away from mexico and of course always watching a hawaii out there no threat at this time so christy is the name on the list right now then after that lane and miriam not as many named systems on the uh, eastern Pacific side uh, this season. A different set of uh, names there. Here's meters, here's feet, and of course everything really building north of the Bahamas through Bermuda Atlantic region of Canada. Very high seas. This here is on Thursday. Uh, that's with the uh, system that continues to work in. North Atlantic will be a mess. This here is on Friday. Then as we get into Friday and the weekend across the Caribbean, it will be a bit choppier. A couple meters, two, two and a half meters. So working our way up to about seven, eight feet at times in the Caribbean be in the seas will build this here is on Saturday so heads up in the Caribbean too we're going to get a bit choppier as far as rain goes most of the rain totals are down which is huge because of course we have those very high totals parts of the southeastern Bahamas back toward eastern Cuba scattered about watching Haiti Dominican Republic Jamaica Cayman Islands if we get a passing shower or even a thunderstorm 25 millimeters to an inch of rain will be a possibility same thing St. Martin down through Montserrat and Guadalupe there's that pocket of some a better chance of rain Trinidad and Tobago scattered showers and storms we had some yesterday let me know in the comments the location and uh, what you're getting, Barbados, St. Lucia, here we are, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, passing shower could give us 25 millimeters of rain the next couple days. Northeastern Venezuela, northern Guyana, northern Suriname, better chance of rain scattered about as we swing back toward Central America, Belize, down through Honduras, Nicaragua. Yeah, we could get some totals around 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain for a three-day rain total. With that said, this is the spot we'll be watching for that rain building. So as that flood threat increases, I'll be able to let you know uh, in depth how much rain we're going to get. Just give me about a day or to, to fine tune everything Mexico City to the north. We are drier. So staying unsettled, Jamaica, 50% chance of scattered showers and storms around. Cayman Islands for us, about a 20% chance over the next couple days. A 50% chance holding at that. Scattered areas of rain and storms. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, the next two days, a 40% chance. We do that in St. Lucia today and tomorrow, 40% chance. A 30% chance in St. Lucia on Friday for us in Grenada, 40 to 50% chance. We're going to see some scattered showers and storms. St to the Grenadines, same thing, a 50% chance the next couple of days in Martinique, a 30 to 40% chance the next three days in Dominica, and holding at about a 40% chance in Guadeloupe through the end of the week. Antigua, Barbuda, 30 to 40% chance down a little bit northeastern Caribbean, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat the next three days, a 30% chance in Guilla in St. Bart's, a 40% chance, 30% uh, chance St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia, and the rain chance bounces up some for us in Puerto Rico, especially tomorrow, 60 percent chance of not only scattered showers but some scattered storms 30 to 40 percent chance u.s and british virgin islands rain chance has gone down of course in the bahamas 40 percent chance turks and caicos just unsettled nothing like a few days ago dominican republic 30 to 40 percent chance and a very small chance as we work our way back toward haiti rain chance 40 to 50 percent so we have some scattered showers and storms in belize let me know in the comments aruba curacao and bonaire rain chance holding at 20 to 30 percent and will generally hold there as we go through the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. Northern Guyana, 40% chance of rain, 30 to 40% chance as we get back through uh, Suriname. We work our way to Cuba, rain chance about 30%, more isolated, 50% chance Costa Rica and Panama. Uh, Nicaragua, rain chance 40 to 50% chance, 40 to 50% chance as well in Honduras. Rain chance 30% today, Guatemala and El Salvador builds a little bit tomorrow, 40% chance, looking at a 20 to 30% chance. It is back down in Mexico City. 
rain chance is not high. Yucatan, uh, we're only looking at about a Yucatan Peninsula, only about a 20% chance, 30% chance northern Colombia, 40% chance northern uh, Venezuela, and of course Bermuda. Let me know how we're doing today with the gusty winds, the heavier rain at times all the way through uh, tonight. Keep us posted. It's still a 50% chance for tomorrow. So the leftovers of Oscar near Bermuda headed their way up toward parts of Canada. Now the next area to watch, that is the Caribbean. That buildup of rain I was showing you, I will be monitoring for development. Thank you for being part of this weather community. The kind words in the comments, of course, I'll see, I see those. Uh, thank you for doing that, and have a good rest of your day.